What's up guys, DWK Videos. If you don't know who I am, I make military content and put it on the internet free for you guys. My social media is in the description down below if you want to stalk me. And before we jump in the video, I have one question. Do you know the way? Which I am praying is still relevant by the time this video goes up. <laughs> But we're gonna talk about Dear John letters. If you guys don't know what Dear John letters are, it's when your girlfriend writes you a sweet love note that says, I slept with your best friend while you were serving the country, or something along those lines. So majority of the time when you get Dear John letters, it's either A, while you're on deployment, it's not really a Dear John letter, they kinda just send you divorce papers while you're on deployment, but B, Boot camp, right? While you're in boot camp, it's, it's kind of a myth. You're with this girl, you're with your high school sweetheart for years, and you're thinking, I'm about to come back a man, big old strong manly man, right? My girlfriend's gonna love that. Wrong, she found out one week apart was too long for her to handle, so she DM'd your best friend on Instagram, and fun fact, he's not your best friend. But really, this happened to a good handful of people out of my division, and it normally happened to those kids that walk around with pictures of their girlfriend in their wall, and they'd show people, look, Look at my sweet girlfriend, isn't she an angel? And uh, you know, after he's done showing pictures to everyone, they finally get mail call, and they get mail call on Sundays, and they're like, mail, get your mail here, there's one for seaman recruit, J Joe. And they hand Joe his letter, and he doesn't read who it's from, he goes, oh, it's from my angel, er earth angel. Won't you be mine, earth angel, earth angel. <laughs> And he tears it open without hesitation. He goes, I wonder what beautiful Ashley, Veronica, Halantra, Genesis 365, had <laughs> Megatron, had to tell me, my, my sweet angel back home. And it normally starts off with, dear blank, I'm, I'm really sorry and I had no idea how to tell you this. And he's like, oh my God. She's telling me that she wants to get married. <laughs> And she says, I got drunk at a party and I hooked up with your best friend. And at first his jaw drops, he goes, and like he, he looks around, he goes, did anyone else just get broken up with? No, just me this week. And he looks down and he's heartbroken and then he just walks around boot camp empty, like a soul left him. You know, we're gonna go do firefighting. He puts on his gear and he's like, I'm not gonna zip it up all the way. I hope the fire gets in here. You know what, Navi? You have one life. You're gonna die one day. I know that mindset is, is pretty dark. But you gotta realize you're gonna die one day. You're gonna be gone from the face of the earth. Don't live your life with regret. Oh, we worth it at the end. <laughs> and they, they're just defeated. And it happens more often than you think. All you all you people watching my videos and you're getting ready for boot camp and you have a girlfriend, some of you aren't gonna make it out alive. And normally it's the people that are 100% like, oh, hell no, nah, dude, she's my earth angel. Hey. Won't you be mine? <laughs> At least mine waited till I was in A school to make me soulless. If you are that girlfriend and you're somehow searching the internet and you find my video and you're searching how to break up with your boyfriend who's in boot camp, go ahead and wait till after boot camp because boot camp is stressful as hell and they don't need to be walking around soulless and depressed like some of you made them. Now, girls going into boot camp, don't think you're safe either. Your boyfriend's cheating on you. <laughs> We're getting comments, you don't understand my bond with her. We're soulmates. Specifically, angel mates on Earth. But it doesn't stop there. Because out of boot camp, you get your phone back. You go to A school, guess what? They text the Dear John letter. And normally it's not a text, normally it's just a ban on Snapchat. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea where I'm taking this. But at the end of the day, don't take it personal, you're probably young, you're probably extremely young, you're probably 18, there's more fish in the sea. She probably wasn't your soulmate, and if worse comes to worse, you can totally just live in a pit of despair for like the rest of your contract. And then each time you go home on leave, you just cry. For real guys, it's not that serious. Some of you guys watching my videos are gonna get bro broken up with, and that's okay, dude. Buy it. Fill the void with material possessions. PS4, Xbox. <laughs> And yeah. Pet fish, because they're expendable. You can just toss them when you don't want them. No one gets mad at you for throwing away a fish. Babe. And if you are mad at me, why don't you come fight me? 
Nah, but really, you won't be sad forever. It's a phase. And think about it this way. You're gonna save a lot more money not going home being surrounded by loved ones. <laughs> I'll see you guys.